Got a new toy. First things first, I'd like to thank all the people that support my channel, especially the Patreons and the thumbs uppers and subscribers and stuff. And uh, the uh, VIPs listed here. Thank you very much. So what we got here. I lost, uh, I moved a while ago and I couldn't find my joystick, my Atari joystick. That's not a good sign. Somebody peeled a label off this, so hopefully it's not some used broken thing clunking around in there. So what I did is I bought a new joystick on Amazon. Stick joystick game control dot 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 made in China. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I bought this because the review that was posted on this product was from somebody that was complaining that what they received had to be assembled. And I said, perfect. That's exactly what I want because I want an Atari joystick. And it would be nice if it had like, you know, a, a box. As you can see, this got like a whole thingy on here. It's also in need of assembly. But all these nowadays, as far as I know, especially in the price range of this is, which is under 50 bucks, have all this USB junk going on. And you can't plug things into retro machines with all the USB action. You need to have a hardwired all mechanical system. And I think you can hear that. The clicking, very good sign. I can hear leaf switches in there. And these bolts were clearly in the, in the drawing could be removed so you can open this up and you can get inside this is probably a usb cable yes it's probably got a usb controller board in there the, the picture that i saw had these things these wires obviously i can pull these off i can rewire it make it into an atari style joystick with a firing button or <laughs> many firing buttons in this case uh six plus you know, I don't know some player buttons or something and these all have decent clicky feel you might hear that so that's nice. It's got a halfway, you know, I don't know. It's got some weight and it has these suction cups. So if I stick it on my desk without this mouse pad on here, it, oh yeah, it's definitely sticking. So uh, I can't even barely get it in the camera there. Okay, there you go. So I can really, I mean, I'm, well, okay, fine. If you really hit it, you can move it. But that's not a bad thing. I think if I wet the suction cups, it would stand even better now now it's stuck on so good i can't move it ah! so when you open yours up put it on a giant super big mongo gaming mouse pad which is what this thing is uh the suction cups will glide around a little bit easier it's got a protective tape on here i've seen other people say that a picture of a very very similar type deck on their uh, joysticks on other vendors with this same product um, uh, that uh, have said that this was filled with like RGB LEDs and it glows different colors and stuff, none of which I care for at all. Uh, but I can see this looks like it's covered with some sort of opaque black plastic. So I do not expect LEDs to be flashing and all that fun stuff in this particular product. So be careful if that's what you're looking for and you go for this one. You're going to have to do some kind of assembly, I guess. Although it does sort of look like it's together. Let's take these bolts out and see what we got. So, uh, yeah, the picture that I saw that was in the review that said that it needed to be assembled looked like they sent all the parts in little bags and stuff. And this one looks kind of assembled other than that one switch that was lying out there. But we can take these bolts off. I love the fact that I can open it. The, the review that I saw that was complaining about it needing to be assembled is a huge plus to me, <laughs> like I said before, because I need to be able to wire it differently than a USB one would be, very much so, electrically anyway. I mean, a lot of joysticks nowadays will have like a giant PC board in there and like a silicone layer with metal beads inside of it. that the switch would come down and contact on 
So the switches are loose. It looks like this one's put together. So I don't know who got the one that wasn't put together. Uh, I don't know how that switch fell out, but since you're banging on it and pushing them down all the time, I guess even if they're a little loose, it doesn't matter. And if they're too loose, you can always probably hit it with a little bead of hot glue in here if you really wanted to do that. So this is awesome. Of course, if you're going to take this apart and hack it, take photos of what's inside here and then post them to YouTube or something so that you have a reference of where these connectors used to be before you opened it up. So the fact that it's got a little thingy in there, I'll bet it's got basically an Arduino-esque thing. It looks like it's got some double-sided tape here. Let's just kind of pry this off. Has no value to me. And it's underneath a, um, a booger of potting compound in there. So this is uh, somebody's specialized USB joystick adapter controller thing. And um, yeah, the video is good enough. I have it documented. So I'm going to take this apart. I'm probably going to not care about it ever and lose it. Or maybe I'll just leave it stuck to the tape that was in here in the first place. Oh, these are all individual uh, connectors. Yeah, again, who cares? You can just change where they are, and the button number will change. You know, if I ever go back to using the USB, which I can't imagine I ever will, once I ah, get her hooked up to my... Uh, regular retro machine so i guess one of the negatives about this is that the the uh, plastic these stand these these things that stick out the side of these switches i guess i'm black on black here grab a notepad so you can see what i'm talking about you can see the these these triangular these angled uh thingies in here so this plastic is thicker than where that angled piece reaches like how am i going to show that with the uh, thing here. Uh, okay, so you can sort of see where that is, right? And once the plastic is on there, it can't reach in far enough. So the problem is, I like the thicker, beefier plastic, but the switch, these strain relief thingies, or whatever you want to call them, these fasteners, that, you know, they bend in and then they're supposed to snap out once you put the... The board's supposed to fit in there, but it's too thick, so it never snaps out. So this is actually a uh, pretty bad design. Whoever did this is totally screwed up. They got the wrong switches, or they used too thick of a panel here. Uh, and the, they really do like to pop out. Uh, so I would argue that's a negative. But, you know, again, like I said, you, you're not pulling on them ever. Yeah, one of them fell out while shipping, and this other one fell out now. So this one popped out. But, I mean, you're going to be doing this sort of thing to it, so it's going to be fine. I don't know how to peel off the plastic. I don't want to scratch what is underneath. Looks like there's uh, plastic down on the bottom side, too, on both sides of this thing's covered with some sort of protective plastic. So if I'm going to scratch it up getting the plastic off, why don't I do that on the bottom? I don't know if you can see that there. You can see it's starting to come off. I, I suspect it's a, a high-gloss piece of, like, plexiglass or something. So you can see me picking at it here. Come on, come on, come on. So I'm sure the other side is black once you get it started and take this off. That looks really nice. Honestly, I you know, this is looking pretty nice overall. It'll get scratched up with time quite easily during normal use look at that that's that's a nice nice looking thing it's too bad these darn switches don't hook on <clears throat> but again it really shouldn't make that much of a difference with regard to these switches so i'm going to go ahead and cut this harness apart get rid of this usb cable that i don't need and now i'm all set i can actually what i bought this for is to plug it into a giant uh, header on the edge of a circuit board and <laughs> this is exactly what i need <laughs> i don't know what this flat one oh it goes to the to the joystick 
Uh, so one of these is probably ground, and then the other ones make contact with the various leaf switches. And the leaf switches look like they're pretty decent quality. And they go make clickety-clicky sounds. So what you can hear is, when I push it to the left, you hear the switch click. I go up. Now the upper and left ones are clicked. And I slowly bring it to the center. You hear the, the left one undoing. Now the right one is switched. So that means that the 45 degree angle corners, you can hear the double click. So both the left and the up switch is both hitting when I'm on these angles. So that works. And I thought I saw, I bring that up because there was a review of somebody reviewing one of the joysticks that I was thinking about ordering complaining about that they didn't hear clicking they didn't have any detent they didn't feel anything to know whether or not you know they were on the 45 or not which you know the 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 tactile responses of these switches is part of the part of the whole thing there you know you need to have the right clickiness you know they don't sell those vintage buckling springs ibm keyboards for nothing you know if you really want to have the clicky keyboard, you really want to have the clicky keyboard or switch or whatever. So I'm pretty happy with this. Probably should have tested the USB interface, huh? <laughs> For those of you that want to know that, there's probably a million other reviews about that. You don't need me for that. I'm just showing you what's inside and the uh, excitement that I have of being able to easily tear it apart and rewire it for whatever I want. So for me, this is exactly what I want in an acceptable price. I don't have to build my own case for, uh, you know, my own switches and stuff, which I do have around. But, you know, I don't want to have you know, I go out to the wood shop and cut a bunch of plywood, stain it, varnish it and all that. Eh, it end up costing more than this thing anyway and wouldn't look as nice. It would probably be a little bigger and bulkier than this as well. I think this is a good buy. So... That's my conclusion. Thumbs up. Thanks for watching. See you next time when I might actually hook this up to something. <laughs>